Yes! 64 Wither Souls, let's go! And there it is, chat. The Ancient Cloak, plus 15 health and plus 10 Mining Fortune. Health consuming abilities deal 10% more damage. Boom. What attributes did I? There's no attributes on this item. Um, okay, chat, that's a thing. Now I'm immediately going to reforge it with shiny prism. And now, glistening ancient cloak with plus 20 mining fortune. That's the equivalent of four levels of this park right here, mining fortune, which I can actually upgrade once. So let's do that. That's that is four upgrades of mining fortune right there. That's a big dub. Okay, 5,522 mining speed, 5,186 mining fortune. That's actually pretty good for uh, Yogg. So as a test, I want to see something. If I swapped out the boots, what happened? So we lost like 250 speed, but gained like 130 mining fortune, 140-ish mining fortune. That's crazy. And that was because we lost the full set bonus for the speed. But as soon as I get like a second piece with max gemstones, I think our mining speed is going to go back to what it was. 1300 mining fortune, Chad. That's good. That's like 500 something mining fortune right there. So that would bring us to 1830 ish mine mining fortune. Chad, I think I think 2000 mining fortune is well within our grasp because I can powder grind to get these last five levels of mining fortune, which is another 25 mining fortune total. And then we can go up here and do mining fortune two. I can powder grind for 11 levels of that, which is 55. So that's another 70. We could hit 2K mining fortune pretty easily. I can also get glistening on a black belt, which is like another plus 10 actually it's more than plus 10 I, I believe it would be plus 12 mining fortune we can do so good stuff honestly we might we might hit 2000 mining fortune chat with a with a gemstone gauntlet and let's not forget chat let's not forget if i max out the artifact of power gemstones and then recom it it's going to become legendary which is going to give us another big chunk of speed and fortune i think we can hit 2000 mining speed by uh i would say the end of the week maybe even a couple days from now it has been an eventful day and a half uh actually that's a lie it hasn't been forge times are freaking crazy there's a reason why people said to use quick forge and i did not heed their advice enough time has passed I did actually do some mining, to be fair. I completely got the gemstones out of the way. But anyway, let's get to the stream. I was powder grinding as the stream started. There's five minutes left, but for the sake of content, I'm going to give it up. So let's go to the forge. So you might notice there's something a little different since last time. This is full Devon armor. So I've been busy. I've been very, very busy. So what have I done off camera? I maxed out the helmet in gemstones. It's not recommed yet, but it has all the gemstones. I'm sure you guys remember the jaded boots of Devon completely maxed and the leggings, which are also jaded, but are missing to amber. We're hopefully going to take care of that today. I'm hoping we uh, mine those two perfects to on stream today. And then we have the chest plate, which is brand new. I only enchanted it for the thumbnail. <laughs> so let's actually work on getting this guy maxed out right now so here's the last five gemstone chambers and of course the jade rolled so we're gonna head up to the top here and we're gonna boop one oh wait one two three four five fully chambered divana armor all every single slot is now chambered all the slots are unlocked and then when I head over here, I'm probably going to need some coin. We are going so broke right now, but that's okay. That's the whole point of what we're doing is to be unbroke. But yeah, 300,000 coins, jaded chestplate of Devon. There you go. Nice. 
So all that's left is getting the last of the gemstones. Now, if we go back to the forge, we have to get a head count for what gemstones are left what do we need in order to max out the armor obviously these two pieces need recoms so we're going to take care of that today this piece needs two amber this piece needs everything and this does not need anything yet. these two don't need anything so we need four amber two jade and one topaz well luckily the two jade and the topaz is already taken care of they're just going to be forging for a while these two are going to be done in about 19 hours this one's going to be done today. So all that's left essentially to max out the armor is two recoms and six more jade gemstones. Now you're like six, but you already have two. There's only four slots here. Well, the artifact of power is a talisman that once you max out its gemstones increases in rarity. And when you recom it, it goes up in rarity again so this artifact of power has the potential to become legendary which means that all the gemstones on it are going to give more stats which means better mining which means we have to do it which is also why i have this a perfect jasper gemstone which we are going to put on the artifact of power right now super dog thank you for the nok 50 you should try to go for so many eyes as fast now i've been grinding for a while and it's so nice all of my focus is going into mining for the next probably week. I'm sorry. I am not focusing on anything else in the game other than getting my fortune as high as possible. Now, luckily, it's a bit interesting of a grind. It's not all in the Crystal Hollows. We still have to get ourselves glistening. We still have to get ourselves equipment. We still have... There's some other grinds that are kind of combat related. We got to do dungeons to get the recom. So... Everything needs to tie into increasing my mining speed, mining fortune. So, uh, artifact of power. We're taking out the fine Jasper gemstone, replacing it with the perfect one. Whoo! <laughs> so, um, we're going to need a sapphire, an amethyst, and a ruby on top of the amber that I already said I was going to grind for. And then we are going to have a pretty decent amount of mining speed and fortune from the talisman here's the plan we need to we need to get these recoms chat but i think the more interesting grind is maxing out my equipment as i'm sure you remember last time we got the glistening ancient cloak and crazy kid make that made that grind one stack of enchanted sand uh longer <laughs> we also have the glistening vanquished glowstone gauntlet so between the two of these it is plus 37 mining fortune that is a good amount that's literally the amount that a yog piece used to give me speaking of i took the yog armor out it's actually more i i took the jaded yog out of my um wardrobe it's officially useless i have stripped them of their gemstones i used them to make perfects and now i think it's time to retire the, the yog this is a sad day the yog armor that has been with this profile for two and a half months this armor was my main money making method it was what i wore 90 percent of my playtime. not in dungeons obviously but it's time to retire the yog armor it served us well but its stats are just not good my mining speed is already better because of all the perfects and the recoms and stuff there's no reason for me to ever use this armor set ever again so you have served us well yog armor but your time to sit in the museum until the end of time or when this profile is deleted someday boom there you go thank you for everything you've done for us yog armor you will not be forgotten rest in peace and you know what's funny even though i've decommissioned the yog you might be thinking to yourself well hey there's no topaz on your chest plate so surely you still need the yog chest plate now well first of all i took the gems out of it but second of all since all of these are legendary rarity or above, I get two pristine per piece. I got one point, either 1.6 or 1.2. I think it was 1.6 uh, pristine per piece from the Yogg. Even without any gems on the chest plate, my stats are better. It's crazy. Now, we still have some more mining to do. It's literally just amber gemstones and then the armor's maxed. And then I got to get the random gemstones done so we can max out the artifact of power. And for the memes... Once I've maxed out my mining efficiency, I'm also going to max out the gauntlet so we get that gold 
that will just match with the Devon armor and it'll make for a, a great thumbnail. There's no reason to do anything to this gauntlet other than upgrade the amber to perfect. But I'm going to upgrade everything to perfect because I can. But only once everything else is maxed. So I think the first grind, we're going to go for another glistening reforge because um, I didn't I didn't finish my point here. The, the ancient cloak and vanquished glowstone gauntlet is 37 mining fortune. I equipped the brown belt. This is the next armor piece I'm putting glistening on because it is the highest rarity equipment piece in the game as far as i know once you upgrade it to black belt it becomes legendary if i read comet then it becomes mythic so yeah and there's no other pieces of equipment in the game that give mining fortune that i know of so the next best thing is brown belt and magma necklace we're actually going to swap out for an ender equipment piece so you know what let's actually do that first because it's easy have you put devon in the museum oh we're gonna get some skyblock xp here boom Museum rank increased, prosperous, boom, 10 skyblock XP. Oh, here's another thing that happened. I upgraded a whole bunch of minions off screen. You might notice that uh, the minions are a much higher level now. I only need 12 more uniques for the 29th slot. I'm going to hover over all the minions here. Almost all of them are either tier 10 or tier 11. There's a few exceptions. But yeah, I've been I've been busy. I've been busy with the minions. We are missing out on carrot, but we're gonna fix that today as well. Cactus, this is gonna blow your minds, chat. Guess who's winning the freaking election? Diaz. The the mayor that increases daily NPC buy limit by 10 times. Diaz is winning against Aatrox. This never happens. I'm pretty sure Diaz has only been mayor one other time ever. So that's cool. Rabbit feet, blaze rod, fish, dandelions, gunpowder, string, and ice. I'm going to buy all of that every day for five days, 10x NPC buy limit, which means we should hopefully be able to get closer to maxed flower minion, uh, perhaps frozen blaze, perhaps blaze minion T11 uh creeper minion i just need fish for bait and of course rabbit feet because upgrading the rabbit minion is awful so <clears throat> and i'm gonna run juju archer for floor seven. Oh wow <laughs> well that was easy <laughs> the first thing i get ender necklace all right there you go chat ender necklace has been acquired and we're gonna retire the magma necklace for now cool so i guess we're off to the crimson isle then we need to kill flares again i know this grind was a lot of fun we need to kill flares so that we get ourselves gazing pearls we need 20 of these along with a bunch of glowstone and then we should be able to put glistening on the ender necklace the only reason why i'm using this by the way is because it's epic which is the highest rarity of a necklace as far as i know or at least it's tied for the highest uh rarity of a necklace so it just means the reforge is better it doesn't give any mining stats that's fine same case for the brown belt except legendary so we're gonna have to actually do the dojo today i'm not sure if i can get black belt but i'm gonna try my best Two shiny prisms acquired. All right, here we go. Ender necklace, brown belt. Now, how much is this going to cost to apply? 75k, not bad. So, glistening ender necklace plus 10 mining fortune. Boom. Brown belt plus 10 mining fortune. So, this right here is four levels of mining fortune in Heart of the Mountain equivalent right here. That's good. Now, in total, let's just say that this is... 20 for math's sake so 40 50 60 mining fortune just from equipment just from equipment that's crazy that's insane that's almost a third of a piece of the armor so anyways that's done so now the next goal to increase fortune let's take a look at the um uh, the dojo let's see how close we are to black belt even if it's not the best rarity it's not that big a deal as you saw getting the glistening pearls is not that long a, or the gazing pearls is not that long a grind so i don't really mind having to put glistening on something else but whatever at least i don't have to start it easy anymore which speeds these attempts up a ton
What? <sighs> you know what? Screw the two mining fortune. I'm not doing it. Screw the freaking dojo. I don't care. Giving up 30 viruses to quit there. Confirmed.